So we're seeing here the muscles in the deep buttock, so underneath the gluteus maximus. Most inferiorly, we have the quadratus femoris, which is square shaped. It's coming from the lateral ischial tuberosity, lateral to the um, hamstring origin, and inserting onto the quadrate tubercle, which is this little bump along the intertrochanteric crest and the area immediately inferior to it. So impingement between the ischium and the grade trochanter is known as ischiofemoral impingement, and it can involve the quadratus femoris muscle. Immediately superior to that is the triceps coxae group. So we can see here the inferior gemellus, the superior gemellus, and in between the obturator internus. So the uh, triceps coxae pass beneath the sacrotuberous ligament here, which is represented in yellow. We can see the origin and insertion. The insertion is a common area on the medial surface of the grade trochanter, so in behind. The origin of the superior gemellus is this little spine here, so the spine of the ischium. The obturator internus has its origin against the obturator foramen, which is deep here, and you can also see it sort of in in behind, so wrapping in over there, so that's obturator internus. And the inferior gemellus has its origin here on the ischial tuberosity, but on the pelvic side of it, and again inserting onto the medial surface. Then we can see in purple is our piriformis, so it's coming from the anterior surface of the sacrum, so inside the pelvis. It also originates a little bit on the sacrotuberous ligament. And then you can see the piriformis comes and inserts more superiorly than the triceps coxae onto that superior or medial surface of the greater trochanter. And then of course our sciatic nerve, which we can represent just in yellow here. Sciatic nerve usually perforates out beneath the piriformis, so it would come out from underneath piriformis and then sling over the top of your triceps coxae and also over the top of your quadratus femoris. So there's a couple of little points that the nerve can become sandwiched, obviously, as it passes out from underneath the piriformis. And then the sciatic nerve also tends to kink at the obturator internus level, and again here where the inferior gemellus meets the quadratus femoris. And we can assess that nerve dynamically during um, external and internal rotation of the hip. Okay, so they're the deep external rotators of the hip and their um, anatomic relations.